Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the fifth. Should find the green here. That's right out of the copy. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. But what a start. This is impressive. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Here we are at the sixth hole. Luke, this player coming off a of birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, this is Billy Horsell's next shot. I'm down here on the seventh. Boy, Rich, that was a big time save, that one. Out of the rough, into the hole. Thank you very much. Let's return to live play now. Currently minus five. Currently in the lead. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. This is beautiful to watch. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment great to watch and with that that's their fourth birdie and that will move him to six under par and still in top spot after that hole keep it going let's see what happens here on the seventh Not a bad line, this one. Coming off a string of four birdies. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Hey, that's a chance. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to seven under. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. play their third and choosing the eight iron here yeah that one's looking good oh Ooh, nice beauty shot. an eagle and what a way to jump into the top 10 let's take a look at the leaderboard our current leader enjoys a five Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Great looking shot, this. 
Ooh, pulled it a little too far left. Left yourself an opportunity. 13 feet to the hole. Ooh, this one's online. Light. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will take him to eight under. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Heading down Broadway. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, guys, I'm down on the 10th. This is Billy Horschel's next shot. This is their fifth shot. Oh, Rich, how good is that? Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. For the nine iron. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This one's for birdie. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the 10th. Such a good opportunity for this player to extend their lead. It is a gettable hole. They need to take advantage. Ooh, should I go for it? Oh, I'm going for it. Well played, mate. Playing from around 160 yards. Should be good there. Maybe a little, a little bit more. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Ooh, not enough. Damn. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Anytime you can make these putts, that'll certainly well, at the end of the day. Not too right bad, eagle feet. putt. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Currently 11 under par for the round. Teeing off here at the 11th. We love the birdies with big wings. Celebrate your eagle, but let's go and make a couple more. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Ooh, right at the pin. Oh. Oh, that's a great shot. And a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. Okay, let's get back to the action. Lining up the birdie putt here. Mm, pretty straight. Ooh, a little hard. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. He sits in first position. 
And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. I'm pretty sure this play will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Ooh, I don't know if I can carry that. Good looking shot this. Second shot here on the 12th. Seems to have chosen the three wood. No. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. <clears throat> I should have clubbed cup. up a little bit, that's fine. This one's looking good. Yeah, Save my car. We'll take that. Johnny Mac, what's the news? I'm down on the 13th hole, following Ian Poulter. Sitting at plus one, currently tied third, just a couple out of top spot. Well, that's incredible. And for birdie two. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. That should find the cut stuff. Always pull to the right. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Holy, lots of break in this butt. I'll try that. Ooh, what a monster. And let's have another look at that one. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau playing their fifth shot. Wow. That's certainly a shot saver there, Rich. Shipping in for bogey. Happy and sad all the same breath. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. And coming off the eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. Not bad. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Ooh. That should find the surface. Shouldn't hold that a little bit more. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at Birdie. 
Good look at birdie coming up. Mm, not too bad. Break left. Looks good off the blade. Ooh, Just I didn't pull it enough. Just three feet to the cup. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Oh, I'm going for it. Why wouldn't I go for it? That's heading into the rough, I think. Oh, keep bad kick left. That's Setting it. up to play the shot here from the green side rough. Oh, absolutely flushed. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And that putt will drop. And he'll extend his lead. Yeah, nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. Currently minus 15 for the day. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Well, it's heading for the fairway. After a very consistent run of play over the last half a dozen starts or so, Rich, this player's coming with a whole heap of confidence, and they look to me to be one of the players to beat. Do you agree? We've seen this player time and time again contend for tournaments, and it is no surprise to see him doing it once again this week. It is so fun watching this player. They're in top form. Pretty good shot there. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? I'm over on the 17th, guys. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. And back to the course with the live action. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. Oh, same part as last time, but right. I missed this easy putt. I don't mind the look at this. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep As soon as I start consistently doing, uh, probably. Between 16 under to 18 under, then I'll be amping up my game. Going with a three wood here. Come on, get down. Still pretty new, so I'm kind of learning the shots. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Roll. Oh. And he needs this to save par. Probably could have put some bad top spin on that. Well hold. Yeah, see, like by hole 18, I need to be like 17 under, 18 under.
And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Ooh, this is a little valley. Nice hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Be a hybrid Time from here, probably. On the 18th. Ooh, a five wood, okay. Going with the five wood. Ooh. Oh, Not what a shot shabby. by our leader. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Hard pull right. Just just enough. continues this player's dominance. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week. Filling it up. That yeah, so, so like my end game should be one. like minus 18. 18 under. I gotta give props to my boy in the booth, Rich Beam. I think you picked hey, this one at the start boys. of the week, didn't you? Got to practice. Just, it wasn't a difficult pick. Let's be honest. This player has been consistent all season long, getting the victory. No surprise whatsoever. Really good stuff. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elving. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Oh, I should have upgraded my five wood. to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam in Phoenix, Arizona. It'd be amazing to go What's this golfing at well, these uh, the golf courses. Nine compared to the craziness around the golf course that ensues. Just 414 yards from the back tees. Bunker down the left-hand side, the players want to avoid. They'll be more than likely taking out a long iron fairway wood, hitting it down the right-hand side. Green tilts a little bit from right to left. A big runoff area on the left-hand side is a no-no for your okay, second shot. Got but wind on my back a side. nice, easy opening hole. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares oh. today. Open her up a little bit. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. TPC Scottsdale, known for a bunch of birdies, Rich, and you can get right after them here at the first. 
A gentle opening hole, second shot, a good opportunity to get your Try iron play play dialed in. Green is very small. Anything missing to the right and to the left will run off into a collection area. However, if your irons are dialed in oh, early, just left. it's a great opportunity to make an opening three. High quality shot, that one, right next to the hole. Yes, got to think that's a certain birdie from there. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Ooh, good start. Sitting second. The second hole at TPC, Scott Starlin's a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. Well, this should find the short grass. John, Wish I was consistent in my driving range, but guys, Cooch is getting ready for his next shot. This would be a great up and down. Oh, nice chip. Oh, you've made oh, it. Yep. What a play. From about 130 yards here. Choosing the nine. Pull right. Here. Pull right. Wow. This one here. This is for back to back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Oh, straight putt. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And after that hole, leading Bubba Watson by a stroke. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold I'm up only... this play? The third here at Scottsdale plays over 500 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. See, par five, what I need to be doing is getting getting on in two shots. The left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. There's a consistent drive right there, right down the mid. This shot here from about 240 yards. Got the wind on my backside, so that's good. Opting for the three wood. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Yeah, see, I need to be getting closer to the, to the pin just to... Uh... A little bit easier of an eagle shot on par five, this but... Looking good. That's not too bad of a putt. Oh, birdie with big wings. Great putt. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Oh. And after that hole, leading Bubble Watson by three. The par three fourth at TPC Scottsdale. Plays Ooh, I struggle on par yards. threes. I don't know. Straight away hole, but bunkers again. Front, left, and short right requires a pretty accurate and Let's solid Let's see where strike. this sits, I guess. Looks to be going with the five iron. This one's going right at the pin here. Yeah, I can't. I can never play that bounce. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Like, that should almost be like a guaranteed fucking hole in one, you know what I mean? So. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to five under. I can never play that bounce though. 
John, give us an update. What's shaking? Down here on the seventh hole now. This is Kevin Kisner. Getting ready to play their third. That's what I, that's a nice chip. That's what I need to work on, that little chip and bump. Bump and run kind of. little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is up by three shots. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that will catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. Got to wait a little bit. Some of the head. Time to take a look at what's going on at the sixth. <clears throat> for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Oh, that sounded nice. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Wow, yeah. what a shot. That's a great shot. Into booty range. Those are always six. nice, like the foot... the foot putts. Let's get back to it, shall we? Sitting at five under par in their round. You're pretty much guaranteed shot. See, like, should I put a little spin on it? Do it right there. Try and get under a little bit. Wonder if this will pay better. Awfully high though. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Yeah, but. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge compliment. I will go when Mommy gets back from Leading picking raspberries. Five shots after that. So, not very long. Um, but, good spot. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know the yell. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four, 432 off the back tees. And again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold player is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Outstanding yeah, approach shot. Almost a gimme Got to work there. on my approach Fantastic. shot. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. 
So like right now where I'm sitting, I'm behind. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Seems to have chosen the three wood. He's got this thing dialed in here. No. Looking good. Too hard. Damn. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. Uh, save par, I guess. See? A good stroke. And down she goes. Not what I wanted. I'm not doing too bad. If I could do this in real life, I'd be really happy. But I'm not a pro golfer. one is chewing fiber what a shot almost went in the bucket well that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th so after that hole this is the current standings on the course our current leader is enjoying a six stroke advantage The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. I just need to cut an apple real quick here. Guys, uh, get out of the fridge. I'm cutting you an apple. I'm cutting an apple for you.
Mason, you want apple? Hmm? Yeah. Alright, get right back into it now.
This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Sitting at seven under par for the day. Currently in top spot. Game of the seven. Come on, pull left, pull left. Yeah, that one will play. 16 feet to the cup. It's on a great line. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, I'm down on the ninth hole now. This is Sergio Garcia setting up his next shot. This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale was a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. Playing from around 150 yards here. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, I hit that. Ooh, well, that's currently on the dance floor. Well played. Well, that's beautifully judged. Of all Not the shots for that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. But in yeah, for birdie. Straight in. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. He's Ooh. feeling it. Now, eight shots in front. The 10th at TPC Scottsdale is a short par four, measuring just 428 yards from the tips. There's a huge bunker down the right side of this fairway, which suggests maybe less than driver is necessary off the tee. What you want to do is set up for a good angle of approach, though. There's a couple of pot bunkers to the short right of this green and a big one to the front left to be avoided. Time for the fifth shot. From around 170 yards here. Opting for the Ooh, five. Right off. under that one. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Come on. Oh. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. He has about 14 feet to the hole. Good stuff today, Ooh, especially the short game has been really sharp today. This one has eyes for the hole. And that's eight birdies today. It's a lucky putt. Caught the lip. Still in the lead now after that hole. The 11th is a par four playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. You like that, didn't you? John, what's going on out there? Down here on the 13th hole, this is Matt Kuchin. Matt, eh? This is their fifth shot. You're kidding me. Did he hold that? Oh, gotta nice love chip. it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. That's, That's, what, I, That's what I gotta work on. Water becomes a real feature here in the final nine holes of TPC Scottsdale. Here we are exposed to it at 11. Second shot at 11 is very difficult. Water hugging the left-hand side. The bunker fronting the green is no fun. The one in the back part of the green is no fun. Anything out to the right is just fine.
A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid Pretty much is a stud. Pipe. A little break left. It's on a good line. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Currently in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Still behind, though. Seems I amp up my amp up the, the game a little bit. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green. Oh, that's if anything, right. it's slightly pushed. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Ooh, good Hard look at Birdie here. Right. Go on, get in the hole. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Birdie here to really ignite your charge. Oh, this Ooh, is on a fantastic fit. line. Fit. Is it the right distance? No, too far. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. And here we are with the third shot. Ah. Nice recovery there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Nice birdie. Well played. Short. Short chip. Working on my chipping abilities, but. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. This, I play the same way when I play real life. I, I always chip short for some tees. reason. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag. Although a four here never hurts. Hmm? John, give us a small update. Hey guys, I'm on the 15th. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. Oh, what hey, a that's shot. what I gotta do. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. Okay, let's get back to the action. Known as El Nino, he can be a firebrand, our Sergio Garcia, Rich. But geez, exciting to watch when he's on. He's been so good for so long, Luke, that I Come never on, tire of watching him play the game. I think he plays it with a passion, unlike most players in the game right now. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But overall, his body of work throughout his career has been simply amazing. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Mm, pretty straight putt. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Sitting at minus 14 now for... The rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. The 15th is a very important hole, the par 5, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks a round here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive Ooh. will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20-yard marker. Wow, I mean, you can kick right that I wanted. Nicely done. Well, this will be a bonus right on 17 feet from here. 
Just to the right of the cup. It's got a chance. And that puck will drop. And it Just caught the right of the cup. <laughs> that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. up with this play just a moment ago let's recap this long-range effort Ooh, nice putt nice putt to yeah. make that one let's take a look at the leaderboard Welcome to the jungle, or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale, the Stadium Hole Par 316. It's just a short club, but you miss the green, and a chorus of boos will ring out. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Now that was pretty good the whole way. John, a long on this birdie putt. Hey, hey, hey. I'm pretty straight though. Too much. Are you? Papa coming up here. Job done. Let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? The penultimate hole at TPC Scottsdale is an absolute beauty. Do you go for it or lay up? A drive here that's just slightly pulled will find the hazard to the left. But if you're short right, a chance to get up and down for your birdie and really push for the title. Get a little bit more carry. What a gargantuan tee shot. Oh, I can't kick right though. I didn't want to that. kick right. Absolutely sets himself up for an eagle on this hole. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's hard. That's a stinger. Hey. Is that a rush of blood or something? Seven footer right here. Small break, right? That starts off on a good line. Well done. Take the bird. Well, if I birdie this next hole we'll or eagle it. The fairways, John. What's up, mate? I'm over on the final hole, and Sergio Garcia sets up his next shot. I'd probably play, ready to play their third. second or third with the game apped up. Oh, almost went in. Oh, that was pure silk. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, you much want to be like right, right beside the pin on this shot. Well, Rich, here's one of our proven performers in the FedEx Cup points race. They've been there or thereabouts for most of the season, and they go into this tournament. And, as and I'm not going to get the bounce on it. It seems a surprise, doesn't it? Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour, in my mind's eye, it is no shock to see them contending for the lead once Great again. Great left. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. Oh. 
Oh, oh too far. Damn. To make this one, it's for par. Well, that's a great tournament to win. The race management Phoenix Open, which and all on Super Bowl Sunday. All the fans this week have been out there supporting the tournament. They've been out here in record numbers. And the champion be more finally consistent. gets to enjoy the festivities as well. That's for great sure. Great playing this week. Great win. And Rich, credit where credit's you. I think you picked this victory. Well, even a blind squirrel gets an acorn every once in a while. No, listen, this player's been there all season long. They're just one of these rare players that is seemingly in contention every time they peg it up. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich B, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow. Need to upgrade a couple more clubs and then I'll be fully upgraded.
really enjoy the look of the tailor maids. That's what I use in real life, tailor made. want but I gotta do the contracts to get it Score eight one cut pars or better. Finish a round with approximately two hole of 30 feet or less. Place in the top two. Sports and the PGA Hello, Tour. welcome. Please Proud subscribe, to like, and share for more content for to Fans come. Cup. We're at the Genesis Invitational. Today's coverage is just about to begin.
Welcome to Hollywood in Los Angeles. I'm Lou Gilby alongside Rich Beam and we're here at one of the great Such golf beautiful courses. Beautiful golf courses. The Riviera Country Club. Oh, what about this place? Well, you said one of the great. No, 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 no. This is the best course they play on tour all year long. By a country mile. This is my favorite golf course from the moment I park my car in the parking lot and I walk into the men's locker room. I see the old faces, old friends. I get to walk along the wall of champions, the pictures, Ben Hogan, all the iconic winners around this famed club. I can't get enough of it. I am the happiest I've ever been when I set foot here and when I leave, I'm so sad. I love this golf course, everything about it. There's not a easy straightforward hey, shot out there. The opening hole Nothing is wrong the with easiest the one, but after that, put on your boots because it is about to get difficult. I find that all the players love this iconic venue, and that's why it brings out the best. Everyone comes to Hollywood with a dream. Ooh. What's your dream? It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Mm, putting for a birdie. A birdie with big wings. That is... I don't know. Looking great now. Oh. That one had eyes for it the whole way. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. And it's time to recap that play. Pretty fast green, I would say. Sits in first position. Yeah. Well, I have to walk. But it didn't want to. Time to tee off at the second. Seems to have got a big piece of that one striped. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. We got Kisner, third hole, guys. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. And back to the course with the live action. Rich, they say you need to have at least one weapon to be a success on tour. But for me, Kevin Kisner has two. Yes, he's a great player, but my God, he's a feisty competitor. That, I think, is his greatest asset by a long shot. We got a first taste of it a few years back in the playoff loss at the Players' Championship. And going forward, he that. is week in and week Not out. Not bad for Bertie, to be Brinkler. With. He gets any kind of taste of the lead, sniffs the lead. He's not going anywhere. He wants that bad. And he's not gonna he's not gonna make it easy on you. He's not gonna make bogeys. He'll par you to death. He will absolutely make you as uncomfortable as he possibly can. He's not long, he's not tall, he's not intimidating. But I gotta say, when you look in his eyes, you know that guy is the real deal. Yeah, I'm okay with that line. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. No, that's definitely not the what I hoped for. Too bad here in the first cut of rough. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yeah, a quality uh, shot there. Long cut for birdie. Last. This for another. Ooh, right there. Just caught the lip. Sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? And let's have one more look at that shot. <laughs> and 
after that hole, leading Daniel Berger by three strokes. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. This hole is a par three. Is it one you should attack or play the smart shot? Oh, I'm going for it. Opting for the five wood. Oh, A yeah. Sensational shot. The chance that played well. Here on the four. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Ow! Oh, what a ripper from long range. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Let's return to live play now. This one's for Birdie. Ooh, nice line. That's very impressive. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Leading by four strokes after that one. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. That's not the one he wanted. Let's head out to the sixth hole. And this for the par. Okay, let's get back to the action. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Choosing the nine iron here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Five feet coming up to the cup. Oh, so close. And that should secure the par. Well done. Our leader is up by four shots now. The sixth hole at Riviera is one of the most famous par threes on the West Coast, Rich. An absolute beauty. It looks like a giant green donut with the bunker right in the center of the green, doesn't it?
I love this hole. I don't know. Look in your book. Looks to be going with the four iron. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Mm, that was a little bit too much power. Seven feet to the cup. Oh, nice looking part. And there it is. Now four shots up after that hole. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Had a boy. Good shot. Opting for the 9-iron. That might be one club too many. Oh, well played. Let's take a look at JT just a little while ago. Lining up for his third now. The chance to move to six under the card with this putt. Uh-huh. 
Oh, hard break to the right. Not good. Forward, five footer to me. Not good. It's got a chance. Solid par putt, that. Save par at least. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Wow! We let the big dog eat on that one. Woof. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. This is his third. Let's get back to it, shall we? Rich, Kevin Kisner is one of these guys who graduated from the University of Georgia. And he is like a bulldog, isn't he? He's like a dog with a bone out on the course. You can tell how important a situation is to a player by looking in their eyes. And if you look at Kevin and you watch him play, you realize that every single shot to him is important. He's got the most steely eyes that I've seen in the game since Ray Floyd. And Ray was probably the toughest character I'd ever seen on a golf course. Kevin Kisner is that guy. He is the toughest man out there in my mind's eye. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to six under. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Going with the 9-9, nine -nine, I think. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Well, that's a handy shot. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's the right pace. This should... Yeah. Oh, so close. Opportunity to make their par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Now, five shots up after that hole. Well, this definitely ain't my round. One of the most often discussed holes in all of golf is the par 4 10th here at Riviera Ridge. There's so much strategy. It's either driver or three wood for every player in this field, but you better be good with distance because this green is very narrow. Looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Second shot here at the 10th. shot that was making the difficult look very easy and racking up their fifth birdie of the day and that will take him to seven under and just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard and after a birdie at the last they'll take the honor on the hole That one's right out of the top drawer. Time for the second shot at the 11. Mm -hmm. And 
And here we are with the third shot. Here, short. Kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. And that will take him to eight under. And now intrepid on course reporter John standing by. Well, I'm following Kevin Kisner at the moment. He's on number twelve. 32 feet from the cup. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Now well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the 12th. Going with the hybrid. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. All right, let's go. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh, that almost went down. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. About 10 feet, and she's pretty straight. If it's up, it could be in. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. Coming off a string of three birdies. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. In my yeah, not a bad shot, that one. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Looks like about 22 feet to the hole. Don't cut almost. Come on, really come on, come on, come on. Oh. That's a good nice putt putt. to make. We'll take that. 
currently at 10 under par overall. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Oh, short? What? Well, a little off the target with that one. Not taking enough club to get it there. Oh, man. A little sigh of relief. Happy to be putting again. Well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this. This is a good chance. Save par at least. Holy. Oh. Tell you what, there's been some great spread the all over the wind, course. I guess. Let's have a look at this. Cut her short. Take a look at this attempt from way out. Oh, right on the lip. Sweet, just like you like it. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. This one from about 160 yards out. Yeah. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one could take a little bounce to the left. That Good wind, seven mile per hour wind is kind of catching me. this one me. go down. Let's see if they make it. This one's dialed in. Oh, that too hard. Gallant attempt. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. They make it. Now 10 under par. Just a handful of holes to go. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Well, we we're on the 17th hole. This is Patrick Cantley. Playing their well, fifth put shot. him on the counter. Nice shot. shot from the bunker. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The 16th at Riviera Ridge is the last chance to get amongst the birdies on a par three. A breathtaking short par three, 166, an island green surrounded by bunkers. Ooh, hard pull, right? Uh, small kick left, though. Well, that certainly makes putting a little easier when you hit a shot like that. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. A well holds. He'll take the birdie. And now that finds him in first place. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. The last genuine scoring hole at Riviera is certainly this par 5 17th. Any hopes of getting it home in two, you better come up with something special off the tee and make sure to avoid the bunker on the right hand side. Oh, well, kick right too. You can see why he's leading. That Damn. was a shot of high caliber. That was a thing of beauty. You got all of that one. Yeah, I pulled it right. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. And here we are with the third shot.
wonderfully played. Oh, I hate waiting for people. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Nice stroke. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. All that waiting just to like do that. Two in a row. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. One of the most famous finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich. This 18th at Riviera is a classic. Aim for the palm trees in the distance, which are located just on the left-hand side of the green. A good tee shot there will set up an awesome-looking second. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Going with the five iron here. Oh, come on, sit. Uh, it's a little wayward. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Oh, come on. This would be a good one to hold because you'll take the title. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep the focus here. This well, is to win the event. Far, at least. This one started out on a good line. Well, you're take it did not to play well. Standard performance and to win around a golf course that was known as Ben Hogan's Alley. Well, this is going to go down as an iconic win at an iconic venue. I got to say, to win at Riviera, I believe, places you among the tournament's elite throughout the years. This is a storied venue, and this was a storied win. Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably little surprise that this player powered through to victory. It's very rare where you see a player absolutely dominate a field like they did in this tournament unbelievable job all around i'm luke elvey alongside rich beam and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at hb studios it's goodbye for now Oh, I did finish the... I didn't think I finished it. I was playing pretty bad. Ooh, new putter.
Welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. We're at the Chariot Open. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elby with Rich Beam in the booth and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Thanks, Luke. Very pleased to be with you and Rich here at Macquarie Shores. And what a beast of a first hole. This one starts out with a par five that's 567 yards from the tips. Curling around to the left to a green nestled onto this California coastline. This course is a lot of fun and I really can't wait to see what kind of action unfolds here today. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Second shot here on the first. Uh, not quite the mm, nasty morning. bounce left or right to Getting me. Ready to play their third. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. But in for birdie. They made it off to a great start today. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. But she had a good mood for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the tournament. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress.
quality shot, that one. Lining up from around 160 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. Well struck. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Get excited. This could go in. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And here we are with the third shot. is outstanding and snatches a birdie as well oh and up he goes marching to the top of the leaderboard so after that hole this is what the leaderboard looks like let's see what happens here at the third hole Going with a three wood here. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Not enough. Line. Damn. Three feet to go here to the hole. And that puddle drop. Well mm -hmm. done. Currently a couple under for the event. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. And after that part, they're looking for something good here. That is right down the sprinkler line. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay from earlier. Risky little bunker shot, but watch this. Well, that was an absolute beauty, Rich. And back to the course with the live action. For all the young stars out on tour, Patrick Cantlay, he seems to have come really to the fore five or six years after he thought he would, but now that he's here, he seems to be here for the long haul. Well, I think he appreciates the game more than he did when he went through the spells where he was injured. I think that being away from the game really gave him a different outlook on it. And I think now he appreciates it. He plays it so well. He's methodical. He's talented. He really understands and knows what he's capable of achieving in his game. And he does it. He's a competitor. I love the way he plays the game. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing?
got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. Got to love it. Taking out the big stick and going ahead and walloping it right onto the green. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee coming off the eagle. Well, this should affect the ball flight. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Yeah, well played. 12 feet to the cup coming up. It's tracking. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will move him to six under par. And now we head to the seventh hole where this highlight took place. Third shot now. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our leader is up by four shots now. Teeing off here at the seventh. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, Take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Oh, that's incredible. He sold it. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course. But no bother for this player. <laughs> Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. one to hold. This is a par putt. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Leading by four strokes after that one. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Oh, that one just missed the hole. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Mark it down. That's booty hey, number five. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Our current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Daddy, 
Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. What? No. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I am down on the 10th hole. This is Kevin Kisner. Time for the fifth shot. And it goes in. Great shot. That chip in for Eagle works eight days a week in my book. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the action. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. Going with the eight iron here. Great looking shot, this. Oh, that's well played. And a chance for Birdie here at the ninth. That's the spirit. Well played. Just go ahead and tap this in for Birdie. Gee, that's good playing. Six Birdies in a round. And with that, we'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Currently in first position. Oh. We have a par five yes, here. Time to food. take advantage. A mouthful. Leave him it. alone. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Opting for the three wood. Should find the green here. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Steady now. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Well, let's see if they can roll off that birdie at the last. Lovely momentum here. Looks like this one's hitting safely for the fairway. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Mm, John, what's this one looking like? Well, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Oh! That one was absolutely lasered. A lovely shot into a few feet. Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Going with the four iron here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Getting ready to play their third. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Well done.
leading by eight strokes now after that hole. Opting for the four iron here. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12. This one's tracking. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Good looking shot this. Second shot here on the 13th hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. Nicely done. 15 feet to the cup. Tracking. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Big putt for Parra coming up. And down it goes. Let's head to the next.